At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? After these words, Jesus Christ exhaled his final breath and died on the cross. In that precise moment, the cross, until then an instrument of death, was converted into the way of peace and salvation. For the 40 days leading up to Easter, the church invites believers to pray the Via Crucis, or Way of the Cross. It's a pious practice centered on the sorrowful mysteries. Along the course of 14 stations, the faithful relived the scenes of the Passion of Christ, from Pontius Pilate's Praetorium to Jesus' arrival at Calvary and his death on the cross. Dal giorno in cui Cristo vi è stato innalzato la croce, che appare come il segno dell'abbandono, della solitudine, del fallimento, è diventato un nuovo inizio. Dalla profondità della morte si innalza la promessa della vita eterna. Sulla croce brilla c'è lo splendore vittorioso dell'alba del giorno di Pasqua. The first documented traces of this popular devotion date back to the 4th century. In fact, in the city of Jerusalem, certain places on the Via Dolorosa were already marked in the first centuries. But the prayer of the Via Crucis as we know it today only began to take shape much later, during the Lower Middle Ages, to then be definitively consolidated in the middle of the 17th century in Spain. The spread of the Via Crucis to Italy and successively to the rest of the world was the work of the Italian saint, Father Leonard of Port Maurice, in the 18th century. Every Sunday at Rome's monastery of St. Bonaventure on the Palatine Hill, the Franciscan friar would gather at the first hour of the day with a group of faithful to pray the way of the cross. And spreading the practice to all the Franciscan churches, Father Leonard asked Pope Clement XII for the authorization to extend this tradition to all parishes. In 1731, with a brief document, the pontiff mandated that a Via Crucis be present in every church. Throughout his life, Father Leonard of Port Maurice made more than 500 Via Crucis in Italy alone. In 1749, Pope Benedict XIV put him in charge of constructing the 14 Stations of the Way of the Cross at Rome's Colosseum. But the celebration of the Way of the Cross at the Colosseum every Good Friday in the presence of the successor of Peter wasn't established until 1959 with St. John XXIII. A short time later, St. Paul VI instituted it as an official Holy Week event. Since then, pontiffs have prayed this Via Crucis publicly at sunset of Good Friday together with hundreds of faithful who each year walk and meditate on the Passion of Christ, uniting it to the ancient and modern sufferings of all of humanity. O oh Cristo, ti chiediamo di insegnarci a non vergognarci mai della tua croce, a non instrumentalizzarla, ma di onorarla e di adorarla perché con essa tu ci hai manifestato la mostruosità dei nostri peccati, la grandezza del tuo amore, l'ingiustizia dei nostri giudizi e la potenza della tua misericordia. Amen. 